chatting with Ophir Tans, the CEO of Gum Gum. Tell us about in image advertising. Uh, so we invented in image advertising in 2008. Uh, have a lot of patents around the execution itself um, and what makes it possible. And basically, what it involves is uh, we work with thousands of premium web properties, folks like Shape.com, USA Today, US News World Report, Tribune Company, the list goes on. Uh, and we look at all the imagery that comes across those properties, so billions of images a month. We break those images down to a keyword level understanding and then sell that targeting to brands. So run me through a scenario. Um, an automotive example, so we do a lot of work in the automotive category. Um, and we're able to look at images across thousands of websites and understand at the make and model level what image uh, particular is in, uh, what vehicles in a particular image and then we can go out and sell every instance of say a Chrysler 300 or a Mazda 3 series um, to an automotive manufacturer. Why does Gum Gum's product work better than traditional <laughs> advertising? You place marketing messages in line that the content users are engaging with. So there's this concept of attention. You're focusing your attention on the body of a web page in much the same way that you're focusing your attention on a television uh, when you're watching television. If you were to plaster a bunch of advertisements around the perimeter of the television on your wall while you're watching the game, you wouldn't pay a lot of attention to it. Um, so similar to that model, what we do is we take content that's organic, that people are engaging with, and we turn it into a marketing vehicle for a certain period of time before it becomes content again. You mentioned that you have the patent on this. Yeah. So does that mean you've kind of wiped out the competition? We have such a meaningful hold on, on the space. We, we effectively are the market today. We own about 90% of it. Um, that I don't think it's a worthwhile effort to go after sort of a smaller competitor. What are you envisioning in the advertising world going forward? Uh, the future of advertising is going to be one where we're returning real estate back to publishers and we're integrating marketing experiences and messages again in line with content and we're really doing away with you know devoting a third or more of your website real estate to these boxes and rectangles that are just very ineffective. You're more likely to survive a plane crash than you are to click on a banner ad. I mean, it's a ridiculous state of affairs that we're in. The targeting's gotten very good. The actual executions, um, I would argue, are very limiting. Um, so we really see a future, and we think in some ways we're the canary in the coal mine for this future. And other companies that are um, executing what they call native advertising, I think, are um, a sign of what's to come as well, where it's a much more integrated experience. Not a lot of people enjoy advertisements on yeah. websites. How do you kind of combat that mentality? Advertising on some level, if it's on a website, or if it's a billboard, or if it's a, a TV commercial, or a movie trailer, I mean, these are um, on some level necessary evils because they pay for the experiences that we're able to enjoy uh, in most cases entirely for free or almost for free and they really subsidize um, content creation. So if you're a content creator, um, you don't have a lot of much choice but to um, uh, sort of show advertisements. I think what we offer is very tasteful, very beautiful advertisements that are highly contextual that in many cases we like to think even add value to the experience and they're very easy to close out. So we're not uh, again, eliminating real estate from publishers and from users. We're actually um, presenting users with a marketing message, but very quickly giving them the ability to close out of it. As more and more people move online, I think a lot of websites are struggling to get those advertising dollars. And so are you really experiencing in the last few years more of an explosion? The, the market size of online advertising is uh, projected to be $171 billion this year, and that's growing really, really rapidly. So we're in a rapidly growing market. Um, we're a big believer in quality content. We're a big believer in um, many publishers having the ability to put out this content to compete with each other um, in meaningful ways. And the only way that they can do that, again, is to monetize their properties. So what we do is we actually open up an entirely new revenue stream that doesn't cannibalize all their other revenue streams. It's additive. Um, to that experience. Ophir Tons with Gum Gum, thanks so much for chatting with us. Thank you.